Today's disaster relief in Zimbabwe began the aid distribution in Chimani Mani. Recently, volunteers headed to another hard hit area to distribute more aid supplies. This time, four volunteers from Malaysia joined in the relief efforts. After departing from Kuala Lumpur International Airport and then transferring in Dubai, volunteers then fly to Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe. This trip took them a total of 24 hours. On April 10th, Malaysia's second disaster relief team finally arrived at the Tsuji Zimbabwe liaison office. I heard that many people here are in desperate need of help, so I'm a bit worried. But if I shoulder the responsibility with a determined heart, it will no longer be difficult. Ah, okay. As soon as volunteers got off the plane, they quickly began to prepare for the next day's aid distribution. Although we come from two different places, it is good to work with local volunteers. Everyone here is very passionate and kind. And we are united with one heart, contributing ourselves to the disaster relief. With the preparation work from the previous night, the Tsuji disaster relief team was able to set us earlier. 18 volunteers travel in two cars, along with a truck transporting aid supplies to Kopa in Chimanimani. Volunteers drove eight hours to get to Kopa from the capital city. Upon arriving at the distribution site, local residents took the initiative to help volunteers unload supplies. Come, come, come and help. Good. Yes. They volunteered to come here. Seeing we were busy transporting supplies, they came to contribute their share. Upon seeing us transport supplies, they immediately joined us. We then gave them volunteer vests and they quickly put them on. They all felt joyful as they felt like they were also part of Tsuji. Volunteers brought 2,000 blankets, 720 bottles of water purifying liquid, and 26 folding beds. It was not until midnight the volunteers completed all the preparations. We are always told that we are, we are like candles, we should light another person's life. So I feel like they have le also, I've learned something from them that no matter what happens, you're still supposed not to lose hope. Although it was raining on the distribution day, volunteers still fulfilled their promise to hold an aid distribution for effective residents. Everyone came to receive supplies in an orderly fashion, and they brought a big bag of supplies filled with love back home.